The VMAX, fantastic, fantastic machine. That thing, just your first initial impression is horsepower. It's just brute horsepower. VMAX don't take the whole show. It's like the, like the 50s there, the 60s, the GTOs, the 427s. It just it makes a statement for the guy riding it. If you had to pick a symbol of America in the 50s and 60s, you'd better be sure it had a custom paint job. The more coats, the better. And of course, chrome. Lots of chrome. But most of all, muscle. V8 muscle. Lean and mean. Nothing wasted. Built for speed. The American Hot Rod. Symbol of power and performance. American style. But that hunger for horsepower didn't die with the 60s. When Yamaha decided to make a muscle bike for the 80s, our designers went back to the streets and the strips. Back to that uniquely American hot rod heritage. The result? The 1985 Yamaha V-Max. The soul of the American hot rod is alive and well in the V-Max. But that hot rod soul was developed from the technology of the 80s, molded by today's requirements, and tested on state-of-the-art factory equipment at Yamaha in Japan. And then we took it out on the track. And redesigned, beefed up critical bearings, gears, and drivetrain components. We made things stronger, better, what Americans demand from technology. And today's technology can be seen in the VMAX's shaft drive, ultra-strong cast aluminum wheels, and a massive rear tire that's half a foot wide. The VMAX features shock absorbers with four damping and five preload settings, and a fuel tank mounted under the seat for a lower center of gravity, liquid cooling, air-adjustable front forks, and the extra-large calipers on the dual front disc brakes also place the VMAX on the cutting edge of motorcycle technology. And we knew if the VMAX looked fast, it better be fast. So we put 1,200 cc's of V4 muscle into the VMAX. Hot dual overhead cams, four huge valves per cylinder, and then we got serious and created V-Boost. On most four strokes, one carb provides gas to a cylinder on its intake stroke, while the carb for the opposite cylinder on its power stroke is just sitting idle. V-Boost puts that carb to work. V-Boost begins at 6,000 RPM when a microprocessor opens a special valve on the intake manifold. The valve allows gas from not one, but two carburetors to enter a single combustion chamber. The increased intake gives V-Boost the feel of a supercharger and kicks out over 140 horses in the hottest rod around. How's that thing feel, Pee-wee? This is what excitement's all about, There you right? go, there you go. Does that be boost hook up real good? Yeah, this thing is a handful. Can you feel it coming in on it? No doubt. Yeah. How about that rear tire? Is it pretty good traction? Hey, it's hooking up pretty well, it looks like to me, you know, for a greasy parking lot like this. Yeah, yeah. What do you think, in the nine? Uh, I don't know. It's, I think it might be knocking on the door, though. No, it sounds good. It sounds yeah. good. Look real good. Thank okay. you very much. The Yamaha VMAX. Born from a distinctively American hot rod heritage. Engineered uniquely by Yamaha. Catch one at your local Yamaha dealer. But don't wait too long.
record holders in the quarter mile, Jay Gleason and the Yamaha VMAX, are about to see just how fast they can push it tonight. Both rider and machine are ready, so let's get a closer look. The first thing you'll see Jay do is achieve a burnout. And what a burnout does is it cleans the tires for maximum traction. Holy cow, is that a burnout or what? While burning out his back tire there, he gets a complete wall of flame. This VMAX is hot, literally. The purpose of the burnout, of course, is to clear out all of the materials that collect within the tire so that you can achieve maximum traction. It does no good to have great horsepower if you can't get the horsepower to the ground. That's the test rider's job. Here we go. He's staged. Now watching your monitors, the Christmas tree. As the lights go down and he hits green, he'll pop the clutch and take off. It's green. Here we go. Shane Gleason, the Yamaha VMAX. Now on the bottom of your screen, you can see the elapsed time counter. You will know just as soon as we do exactly the time that he achieves. He crosses the finish line. There's the time. Look at that. He tied the record that he set at Valens only one week ago, 10.27 seconds flat. Jay Gleason and the Yamaha VMAX making the difference here at Anaheim Stadium as they tie the record that is only one week old. At this point, what we'll do is we'll wait for Jay and the Yamaha VMAX to come on back up here to the starting line. Remember, he does not know that he tied the world record right now, so we'll be the first to tell him, and you'll be the first to see the expression on his face. Here he comes back up, and let's hope that everything with the bike is okay. Jay, that was a fantastic run. You don't know it yet, but you tied the record that you set up at Baylands right. last week. Right, far out, great. So tell us, how's the VMAX running? Hey, it's running super. Like I've always said, Yamaha VMAX, there is no substitute.